Hey, this is Web Suspect. I'm going to be doing a little piece here. Um, you can um, take a look at this Infowars Mastermind Ted Turner documentary that Caliber Hitter has up. And it's really nothing to it. It's just a, a point out who the front man is in this week's review of what's actually going on uh, for Shill Hicks. Okay. So if we rewind to the 2008 election with Ron Paul and um, Obama and John McCain, and John McCain's just a faded memory of the past. We know he was a warmonger, and uh, we saw that if we reviewed the 2007 that Joe Biden, the vice president, lied. He said if Obama took us into a war without congressional approval, he would call for his impeachment. But what is John? What is uh, Joe Biden saying now? So um, this week's video, mainstream headline video, is going to be on how the mainstream media uh, doesn't necessarily rig elections, but they try to sway them. So the media, as far as a tool for the inside track of the global elite. The elections. I think Ron Paul is, he's not perfect, but he's given us a map and the direction we want to go as a country. If we can focus on the Constitution and the ideals that Ron Paul said about liberty, and uh, we can just compare to that to his voting record. A lot of people say he's a show, but we can compare Ron Paul's voting record and the way he's treated by CNN. Um, particularly in this one piece and then and then who owns CNN it's Ted Turner a show Hicks puppet master so um, in th this video a couple of us caught it when it came out and Puna man we're gonna give him credit for it did the video and it's almost six years old now and nobody's commented on it. it's long and forgotten where they had these random words in the background and it's almost mesmerizing because they're interviewing Ron Paul and blissfully unaware of these words but look here the background is woman naked woman school and then what do we have a shooting match on the left side says defer in Iraq we'll go over some of the other words The subconscious mind, if it gets a piece of or part of information, it'll it'll fill in the cutouts on its own. The, the mind, human mind is very powerful plane crash. Remember a few months ago we had a plane crash? And all they got to do is flash those words for a few seconds and the... I don't know, it's borderline. People with a high intelligence quotient are going to pick up 90% of the words. Student marked with KKK and game. Pinochet. His widow indicted. Myanmar. Myanmar is one of the four countries that's been targeted by the New World Order. Um, the four countries are, of course, Uh, now being telegraphed four years ago five years ago and we're going to just gonna continue especially now that uh, this hit squad's been sent, sent after my buddy um, lots of words there they'll even also just kind of put unpopular words in the background so that people associate Ron Paul with you know, things like a root canal. I don't even think Ron Paul was aware this was going on because now they have a picture of the White House behind them. So they just shoved this stuff in behind a green screen and probably said, you know, we'll have pictures of 
the White House in the background, or maybe just weren't looking for him to pay attention. With bound feet, it's probably a Mason term. to come I'll be trying to contact some other like-minded patriots and we'll have some discussions about how elections are rigged. I think if you're talking about conspiracies you have to focus on the main problems and then and then people will kind of connect and start to speak intelligently with their opinions about things and that'll really kind of polish things off. got more Masonic terms before we had bound feet now we have a noose in a, in a term with uh, print they have a term called Greeking which is just kind of like fill titles or fill fill text Again with Myanmar. We're going to do that right now because this video is five years old. So let's Google Myanmar today and see what comes up.
Correct. Everything that uh, people need to be prepared about now is, uh, you know, everything that's going on in the news now has been going on for the last 10 years. So if, if you're just waking up now, it's, you know, where have you been for the last 10 years?